So now what I got to try to figure out how to do, which was relatively easy, I just kind of hammered on it like this, is to get these all synced up in one straight row. I should probably not hammer and talk at the same time. Oh, look at that. The thing is, is this making stuff move on top? No, it's just pushing it in. There, I'm happy with that. This is all straight. I've pretty much done it all already on this side. Maybe just a bit of fine tuning. Not a lot of overhang here. The wall seems straight, so if we step up on this unstable platform, it's frenny because these things look like they just keep going inwards infinitely. Now we have a bit of a synchronization error because that's not really going to go in much more than it already. Oh, it did. I almost want some of these to pull out a bit. Oh, these roofing panels are in there tight now. Quite tight. It's not that important that they line up. I really just, oh, this went way off. What the heck? But I want the trim piece to go on nice, you know? I think some are slipping down. That's what's going on. Now, while you're doing this, make sure you have your level handy. I noticed that as you bang this, you can kind of change the pitch of the wall a bit. So far, so good. I think I have my panels where I want them. Oh, it's like when you adjust on one side, it <laughs> throws the other side off a bit. Now, I'm mostly satisfied with how those are lined up, and it seems that knocking on them can knock loose the ones on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead now, and I'm gonna screw these panels in up at the top. How about more of that same screw? I need like a dish to put them in. <laughs> Overly long bit. Yeah, there's totally not holes lining up here anymore. My setup is different from the stock one. Oh, here's one. It's just plastic, so don't over torque it. Having your technique down with your driver is very good. All right, now we're gonna move on to uh, lining up that side. Oh, where's my hammer? Hammer, 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 right there. All right, this needs to come out a bit. That one slipped out a bit. That one slipped out a bit. Sometimes as you're hammering one down the line, it shakes loose one somewhere else. So I'm actually spending a fair amount of time going back and forth on this. How did this one slip so much? All right, I think that's as good as that's getting. Now let's double check. We didn't throw anything off. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. All right, once again, let's drive those screws home. There's just screws everywhere. I think I got dumped on the floor. Yeah, any existing holes? Oh, here's one. Because this shed is a bit overworked, the components are worn out. And I'm seeing spots where it looks like water can obviously get in. I'm gonna have to come in here while it's raining and see if water's getting in. Those clear panels, they just get spread apart. All right, our roof is in place now and not gonna go anywhere. Swat is next, sir. The next part is to true up the walls. Now it's hard to tell, but it is bowed in. We need to true out this wall, and that means pushing it out until this is all nice and straight. And I bet you I can read some of that. Oh yeah, definitely on the level. What do we have here? That's level, and it's starting to go off. So on the inside, we need to proper push on this. You see, it even raises the roof a bit. And of course, because my uh, ceiling panels have all moved here, you can't really reference the original hole. Now, how's that look? Oh, a little bit sketchy right above where the window is. Let's see. It's actually out a bit too much. So we're gonna get these window panels till they show level. Now I'm gonna screw in these four panels and then adjust the others around it. All right, so this is officially in place now. Should have maintained level. Oh, it maybe went in a touch. Yeah, eh? Oof. 
No, this one actually needs to come out. You know what? I can quite possibly level them from the inside. Let's see. A little bit of a push. They're fastened down now, so there's not a lot of range of movement. You know what? They're all pretty good now. Might as well have at her. We're just gonna go ahead and do this entire wall now. At the top. Ooh, that pulled together nicely. I feel like I'm running out of screws too fast. It looks like I have to take a little break and go get more screws because I'm clearly burning through them too fast. Oh, I'm missing a few. All right, this wall is completely fastened. Oh, I got these ones here now. That's another three or four. All right, I'm gonna screw it in at the bottom next. We've done the whole friggin', the whole top. Now we have these bottoms. So including, right, we got the top, including all around here, uh, the archway. We aren't on that side yet, but then, you know, all along the bottom, 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 and then this side up until the center point, we have one complete side of the shed all fastened up now. So now we start work on the other side. Again, we're gonna check for level, right around the middle here. Uh, it almost looks like it has to come in a little bit. Oh, that might be too much. Okay, well, we'll go back inside and check again. Oh, this reads is way off. That's no good. That guy's mostly straight. Maybe this needed to go in a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna start from this side and work our way over. So, right about here. Yeah, that's not coming in any more than it wants to. <laughs> Intentionally collapsing it so that we can push it back out again. What a novel idea. All right, now I just nudge it out till it reads level. That looks good. I think this wall is what it is. It's almost like the floor is in a bit too much. Okay. Problem is these panels are all connected together. So that's pretty perfect right now. That's good. That's off. That's off. Okay. 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 Oh, getting in now. All right, let's go back out. Push this in a bit. Get it nice. Put some screws in there. All right, move it in a bit. All right, I'm going panel by panel this time. I need a little screw pouch or something. It's funny, I have a real tool belt. I don't know why I'm not using it. Okay. Oh, too far out now. Almost there. Well, these are pretty fixed positions now, so I'd have to push on it and screw it down while I'm pushing on it, which is half possible with Robertson because they mostly stay on the end of the bit. Right there is good. All right, we're gonna bring it home. And this is the funnest part. I do enjoy screwing. <laughs> we just get to fire her home. Finish up the whole rest of this wall. You know what? We are out of screws. We have officially blown through an entire 100 pack of screws just today. I opened a fresh pack. This isn't including the uh, screws that I put into the base. There's another package somewhere that's half open. Not sure how much are left. I gotta go to the car and get the other pack that I bought. Unless, let's see how many are left in here. Okay, there's a fair amount still. Well, not many, really. It might be enough to finish the rest of this shed though. Inside at least. Do I got all the top ones? Okay, I got all the top ones. Let's do the bottom ones. Burning through the screws. 
burning through the screws. What else? Come on, I know that can't be it. Did I get that corner? Well, yeah, there's one missing in this corner. Oh boy, are we sure about this? I don't see any more missing screws. All right. So the shed is completely structurally complete now. That means to say all the panels are in place and all the structural screws are in place. I've got the panels completely screwed down on the inside of the bottom rails. The crowns are screwed down. The roofs are all screwed down. This shed is structurally complete. Now, I used 200 of those screws. I needed two packs of screws. They're both gone now. Of the long screws, the structural screws I used for the floor, there's 11 of 50 left. So I needed 39 long screws to go onto the outer and then a complete of 200 stainless steel screws. Now, full disclosure, I did damage like three or four screws. Situations where when I was drilling them in, they kind of went wonky on me, slipped off the bit, and then it chowdered the, uh, the head. So that's maybe three screws I've tossed. So that's just, just, just short of 200. So if you're putting one of these together, you need at least 200. Now, I'm not done yet. I still got to put that into place. I still got to put all the trim on, but that's, uh, well, that could be another few screws there. So I got to get these trim bars on. I got to get those caps on. Those caps need to be cocked into place. So I got to get up on the ladder and cock them down. Now, I don't need any more of those screws for the doors. The doors are a horse of a different color. Should I do the doors next or should I do them last? I don't know. <laughs> got to do something though. That's for shizzle. Wait, does this actually have to be cocked on? like to stop water from getting into here. Yeah. So I'm playing with my cock again. Hopefully this, oh yeah, it's still good. I'm gonna run a bead across here. I'm hoping that's good enough and I don't have to like smush my fingers into it. Now for some reason, these guys, they don't work well with those uh, standard screws. These are number 12 screws. I go up a, a size just to make these plates stay on nice. I bought exactly four screws from one of the hardware stores that still sells them individually. I gotta go do the same thing at the back, but it's the same as the front. So I'm opening up here my last pack of 10 by three quarter stainless screws. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dump them in my pocket. Yeah, that'll be a little bit easier because it's time to get these uh, rail pieces into place. Oh, we gotta remember how they line up all over again. Okay, there we go. This corner is ugly. It doesn't need to be sealed, but you worry an insect or something's gonna crawl in there. It looks like someone who last had it tried to seal it up. All right. And once again, using my abnormally long bit, And now just to add value to things, there's another set across the top. Oh boy, careful. Oh, there's a hole that needs to be patched right there. Or not. You know what, I think a shorter bit might be better up here. Good thing I have one in my pouch. Oh, guess what? So that's one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. I'm getting the low battery indicator. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, it almost didn't go. 24, 25, 26, oh, 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 26. Okay, I'm calling it, I'm calling it. So that's 226 three quarter by 10 screws into plastic plus 49 three and a half inch into pressure treated wood plus I built this entire thing with that one skill saw or sorry that one little Milwaukee five and three quarter saw <laughs> and that's how much I got out of this uh, 6.0 M12 lithium battery pack.
Not sure how many cuts that is, but yeah, that's impressive. It's almost finished this side. I got two screws left on this side trim, then I have to do the other side trim, and then, uh, yeah, I gotta mount the doors. One battery. I'm surprised it lasted that long. I thought maybe it was gonna get the base done with the saw, but then pretty much be done, but wow, there you have it. Well, I'm gonna go uh, pop my 4.0 in there now and finish this up. We'll get those last two screws in and move on to the other side. And that's all done now. So yeah, that's uh, pretty straightforward, you know, just do neat, 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 neat. They don't need any real sealing. And then these caps just slip over top like that, and that's about it. Again, these are weeping holes. You wanna keep them clear. I got another piece that goes over there. Set of screws along the bottom, set of screws along the top. And I have no control over this because these are specifications that probably would have been first determined by the last person who built it. Unless maybe there's a screw I can pop and get those down a bit more. Like, this isn't an issue with leaking. Water's not gonna get into your shed through those methods. It's more an issue of what kind of critters are gonna crawl into there. So I might just leave those as is or we'll see. I went ahead and I did the whole other side here. I don't know, have you seen the just dark side of the moon here? It's just nothing special. The only thing left to do now is put the doors on. Really, 